welcome back to another video my name is selena ferrer and i will be guiding you through some drawing and painting challenges first off you need to grab your sketchbook this past week i was working on portraits and landscapes from life i did some traveling and i was able to get some practice in i was so excited because it helped me loosen up for this challenge so the reason i wanted to do this is to improve my skills so let's start For my challenge, I chose to represent noble women in history that inspire me. So I started off with a very familiar face, Frida Kahlo. I did charcoal to start out because I liked working on a vertical format. I feel that working on a surface like this helps your arm and your hand to be loose in your movements and to focus on bigger scale than micro detail. I used willow charcoal to start out. It has a finer tip and is for light lines. Then I started to go in with compressed charcoal to get a higher contrast of values in the darker areas of the portrait. I think about filling large shapes before I go into fine detail and then I like to decide on what is my focal point. I definitely wanted to capture her gaze and also the way that she was resting her chin on her hand. Maya Angelou, the popular poet and civil rights activist and so many more wonderful things. So I drew her smiling, which I've always considered smiling faces to be more difficult, but in this challenge, that's what I'm here for. So I decided to capture this very iconic image of Miss Angelou and I really enjoyed bringing my focus into the shadows before i went into the fine detail i found that her mouth was the focal point of this portrait so i really wanted to take my time and also make sure that the composition of her face was correct since she did have her lean tilted back So I was really excited to jump into watercolor. I will be honest, watercolor has always given me so much challenge in the past coming from an oil painting background. It is completely different in application and technicality. Instead of working from dark to light, you work from light to dark because you want to use the paper as your highlight. So you are truly building up in layers because initially I just wanted to get a feel for the brush pressure and seeing how much of paint and water that I need to produce to create an image
I started off these watercolors with watercolor pencils, meaning I can start off a basic drawing composition and then move into watercolor. Therefore, when I want to blend, it won't leave any hard marks, which I really did enjoy. Now, what I first noticed getting into watercolor is it took me a bit to get used to the application. It is about how much water you're adding to your layers and dry time. So I got to figure out as I went in finding a style that I really enjoyed. I felt a dire need to release a lot of that criticism and perfectionism that has to do with realism. As you see here in these drawings, I am catching a likeness of them, but initially I would like to find a more stylized route in how I can bring these characters to life and really emit the true beautiful emotion that they have. This challenge was to help me improve my skills. I picked up a medium that I've been curious about for years now, and I really, really, really enjoyed this challenge. I feel like it helped me loosen up. I feel like as if I can now defend myself with some watercolor techniques, and I will continue these challenges with different subjects. So I encourage you to pick up a different medium today, get your sketchbook. I hope you enjoyed this watercolor and charcoal study of noble women, and I'll see you in the next video.